In today's gospel, Jesus teaches us that he is the true vine, and we are the branches, and apart from him we can do nothing. Now, I don't know about you, but my first reaction to this is a bit of a rebellious one. What do you mean, apart from you, I can do nothing? I can do lots of things. I can have relationships. I can manage my possessions just fine, thank you very much. But Jesus is giving us a warning here. He's saying that that is really a delusion. That a life lived where we hold certain things apart from him is actually a sort of prison and one we don't even recognize as a prison until we allow him to free us from it. So he's telling us we have a hard piece of work to do. He's saying, have a real good, hard look at your life. Where are the places where it's not organized in this way, where Jesus is the vine and we are the branches? Where do we have possessions? and relationships where Christ is not overwhelmingly at the center. And he says, let go of those. Let go of those relationships where you would be willing to sacrifice your relationship with me in order to keep it. Drop it. Let go of it. Now this can seem terribly scary, and it can seem like the end result is going to be to leave our lives an empty void. But the end result tends to be exactly the opposite of it. See, Jesus knows full well what it is to be human. He knows that we need things and people in our lives just to survive, let alone thrive. And so when we do the courageous work of letting go of all those places where he is not at the center, rather than keeping us in that space forever, he instead reorganizes all those relationships He puts them in right order, where he is truly the vine, and we and everyone and everything else are the branches, and then he gives them back to us. And when he does, we realize what a prison we've been living in, and how gloriously wonderful and freeing it is to live lives where in all respects, Jesus is the vine, and we are the branches.